Okay, hello everyone, uh, this is my second video. Um, in this video, we're gonna be uh, designing a tattoo um, for, for a client and um, the client said that um, the tattoo w uh, should look like something along the lines of a uh, quill uh, writing out uh, the line of life um, or as he said uh, it could also write the uh, like the line in the heartbeat monitor that you see at hospitals and so uh, that's why I'm sketching it this way the tattoo could have been oriented the other way I think that would have been the better solution but anyway I'm not the one doing the real tattoo so it doesn't really matter that much and um as you can see here I usually start off with a, um, a rough uh, sketch of a body part and uh, the way that I want the tattoo to look and then I just blur make the distinction between the background and the arm using some charcoal and graphite pencil and because I use charcoal it's the quickest way to cover a large um, area I need to use a paper to put it above the charcoal because one my hand will get all dirty from the charcoal and um, two to not smudge any of it uh, on the paper I mean even if it check even if it's charcoal it can be erased and it's not a big uh, problem because I'm working with ink which can't be erased <laughs> unless you use something like acrylic which you'll see in uh, in this video that I did um sorry I was a bit off camera here but eh, what, what you gotta do <clears throat> And yeah, so um, drawing the quill with the uh, uh, line of life. Um, I w when I draw feathers, I I use I'm used to doing this technique where I make two rows, um, basically one row that goes out from the like the stem of the quill, uh, which has a bit. Uh, of a darker start starting uh, value of a line and the second row of lines starts from the end of the feather so uh, that's how, how you get that texture of, of hair on, on a feather and um, that's how you can also do some shading so shading so um, Right here you can see I'm using a 0 0.0, 0.1 uh, millimeter liner and uh, I'm doing that because um, you can get much finer uh, details, yeah. And now I took a 0.3 millimeter liner because I needed to add in some shading, uh, shadows and values to, to the feather quill and right here you can see I'm demonstrating various ways you can draw the lines um, those <laughs> with a check mark near them are I would say the way that not the right way but the way that I did the quills so you like you don't drag the the pen on, on the paper the whole um, the whole way you sort of flick the pen and it creates that sort of opaque type of line and I'm doing that basically throughout the whole feather here um, I, I don't think I think the only way where I uh, the only place where I didn't do it was the the stem actually of, of the quill um, and it's a, it's a really nice way to get textures, you, you don't need to use it only for hair, you can use it in various different ways. Um, and as you can see here, 
in the middle I left the white part um, in the middle of the quill I left the white part so it serves as a sort of highlight and um, it gives it, it it makes it that much more realistic <clears throat> but um, that's I'm only doing the part of the design anyway the tattoo artist does the the other the other half <laughs> I would say um, and yeah as I'm looking at this I think that uh, that if I flip the feather uh, 180 degrees it would have been um, much better but I don't know how much my client would be <laughs> um, satisfied or willing to draw like the the line of life uh, on his wrist it maybe looked like something uh, that you wouldn't want <laughs> on your wrists and um, right here you can see me using acrylic because white acrylic paint because I didn't like how the the painting the picture the tattoo design whatever it turned out so yeah I'm gonna let it dry and we'll come back in a bit so we're back and um, I I really wasn't wasn't sure how I I should have done this part but I just experimented um, that that's what I learned throughout <laughs> my years of doing art is that you shouldn't be afraid and if you mess up you can just do it all over again and if you mess up again you can just repeat and right here you see me trying to do like an ink inkwell something but I think uh, that it shouldn't be there so uh, you'll see like at the end of the video I'll add two uh, two pictures, one that's um, edited uh, without the ink swell and one with it and you be the judge of which one is better <laughs> so um, yeah that's pretty, pretty much it for this video and um, hope you learned something and that you enjoy it and I thank you for watching and See you in another video, goodbye.